How's it going everyone? Minty Badger here bringing you another Funko Pop review. This time as you can plainly see, it is the Funko Pop Games Skyrim Collection. Now there is a couple of these guys, um, this is number 57, so this is the first in this set. And it is uh, the Dover Key, so uh, one of the, uh, the definitely uh, more cooler ones that I have got recently aside from my brotherhood of steel uh, from the fallout. If you haven't checked them out already, head over to the, uh, my videos and check out. There's actually a playlist now where you can see all the pop videos uh, as they came out. So I'm going to have a look at the box first. <coughs> so here we have a picture of the Dover Key. Uh, I say it different, it's Dover King, Dover Key, I say Dover Key. Uh, I know there's an end there, but I like the rest of it. Uh, Pop Games, uh, Elder Scrolls V, Skyrim, number 57. Uh, on the side here, we have a very nice artwork of the Dover Keen and uh, the mountains from Skyrim, Pop Games, uh, number 57 again. Take a look around the other side, we have his name and a little picture of him. And then on the back, as usual, we usually have other ones in this set. So uh, <clears throat> we have also really nice artwork of uh, the game character as well. and. Uh, the mountains of Skyrim and things like that. So I really do like this box, how the new game ones are incorporating and actually pictures from the game onto the actual pop boxes, which is nice, nice touch. So we have picture here, and we have uh, number 7, the Dover King, the number 58, Alduin, uh, the 6-inch dragon, and then number 59 is the Daedric Warrior. Now, like I says, I have all of these guys, which is awesome. I'm really, really happy to have these because uh, they aren't long out. So if I have a look at the figure itself, uh, really, really cool little guy. Uh, the detail on his helmet is tremendous. I really love the helmet. Uh, the horns on it, there's even some battle damage uh, on the helmet here. Uh, even the detail on the embossing here, where the bolts have went into the helmet to keep it all together. Uh, his little beard and everything. It's a really nice figure. Uh, a little bit of hair here. Now, as you can see, layers to the helmet. Uh, a tremendous amount of details going into these newer figures. I'm really enjoying what Funko is doing with these guys. Uh, and here is the Dova King armor. He is holding an imperial sword, uh, from what I can tell. I think. And the armor is really nice too. I like the the color of the the fur that they've used. It's really awesome. The only problem I have is, as you can see here, where my thumb is, uh, a little bit of paint. A little bit of paint from the fur on his arm, but it's not too bad because I won't have him with his back face too many anyway. Uh, pretty heavy, must admit. I think it is the head because of the helmet and the horns, it does weigh him down quite a bit. But yeah, really, really awesome figure. Uh, doesn't come for stand because he doesn't need a stand. I don't really have any complaints with this guy except for that little bit of paint. I really like the detail. Uh, I really like the armor that he's wearing. It looks exactly like uh, your character, well, how your character starts with the armor, or even the character from the trailer. Because I know, obviously, if you don't pick uh, a human or knob, you can play as our. I play Argonian, uh, so it definitely does look like the the guy from the trailer for Skyrim, which is really nice. Really nice touch that they've really went out their way to get them pretty precise. But yeah, like I said, that's the only problem. A little bit of paint there. Um, I thought he came with a shield, but he doesn't, they've obviously settled on the sword look, which I'm not complaining about, I think the sword does justice, I think if there was a shield it would kind of overpower him a little bit, but yeah, so this is uh, the Dover King uh, review, so yeah guys, this has been a new setup for me, I'm using my new sort of uh, studio with lighting and stuff, as you can see there's still little pieces at the side here that need a little bit of work done and stuff, so yeah, let me know what you think of this new setup, guys. If the lighting's good and if the, the audio's pretty good as well. Uh, I've got my tripod set up pretty good too because it all came together. But yeah, instead of digressing, this has been uh, the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim uh, Dover King uh, review, pop review. And I hope you enjoyed. If you did, remember to subscribe. Uh, keep up to date with me and um, all my videos that get uploaded. Uh, make sure if you haven't checked out the Fallout videos yet, go over and check them out. Awesome pops. I uh, really love that set and share the video as well and like put a little comment down below if you've seen these guys or if you've picked them up or what's your favorite uh, from the set and you can also go over and check out the minty badger facebook page where i always do sneak peeks and a uh, little sort of comments and let you guys know what's going on and what's upcoming and stuff like that but that is really it guys so thanks so much for tuning in i really appreciate it and until the next video i've been the minty badger and goodbye <laughs>